Good Tuesday morning. We start with a news five alert. A family displaced and really dozens evacuated after a fire that caused significant damage at the Union Heights apartments. That complex located just off Union Boulevard and Ranch Drive in Colorado Springs. News 5 Shayla Girardin has been live on scene all morning long and has the very latest. Shayla. I remember, yes, yeah, some good news this morning. The very first of these evacuees are being allowed to return to their homes as we speak, and there also were no reports of injuries, but these firefighters still have their work cut out for them. You can see several crews behind me. This is actually the building right behind me that had to be evacuated, and these firefighters have been in and out all morning long. In fact, you can even see uh, the ladder where they've been up there mopping up hot spots, making sure there are no flare ups, checking out the roof. They're still questioning neighbors, trying to determine exactly what happened. Now, here's what we know so far. Fire crews responded to a call at 2.15 this morning about a balcony fire at this complex. Over 40 firefighters evacuated the building and battled the flames from the outside. And we spoke to one neighbor who says she woke up to a terrifying scene. About 2.20, um, people pounding on the door thinking, you know, it's a big joke. Why are people doing that? And then I went and looked at my back patio and saw the fire going up in the um, two apartments next to me. Crews say they're still not sure of the extent of the damage or how far the smoke has traveled, but say the third floor is unlivable. Now, at least 60 people had to be evacuated this morning. They're receiving help from the Red Cross. Still no word on the cause, but as you can see, crews are still out here investigating what happened. We're hoping to learn more over the course of the morning. We're going to bring it to you. So stick with News 5 today and the News 5 app for the very latest. Watching out for you, Colorado Springs. Shayla Gerard in News 5.